The Arizona Cardinals are going to be at home as they take on the visiting Seattle Seahawks. Now, Seattle is coming off of a bye. And Arizona destroyed the Dallas Cowboys this past Monday night, 38-10. Now, this is a game that I am really intrigued in watching this weekend because, listen, a lot of people have been really high on Arizona going into this season. Now, Arizona had a little rough patch when they ended up losing two straight games in a row, but it looks like they started to pick some things up. And for me, I want to see how Seattle's defense is going to fare against Kyler Murray and his Arizona Cardinals offense because Seattle's defense, in my opinion, has been a giant letdown. I expected a lot out of Seattle's defense this year. I thought Seattle could have like an outside looking in top 10 defense, but I mean, this defense hasn't really played well. But one thing that Seattle's defense does do really good is that they're really good at forcing turnovers. So for Arizona to win this game, you cannot afford to turn the football over at all because this offense for Seattle, they're going to make you pay. So for the Seahawks, can you keep Kyler Murray in the pocket? Kyler Murray, when he gets outside of the pocket, he can make a lot of things happen. He's one of the most dangerous quarterbacks in the NFL if you allow him to scramble out of the pocket and run with the football. So for Seattle, I think it's going to be really important that you force Kyler Murray to sit and beat you by throwing the football in the pocket. And for Seattle, I mean, their biggest weakness on offense that nobody really talks about is how poor they do on third down. They are one of the worst teams in the NFL when it comes to being able to convert on third down. They only convert on third down 32% of the time, which is 31st in the NFL. And everybody talks about how great this offense is, which is incredible. Russell Wilson is the front runner to win NFL MVP as of right now. He's played really consistent. DK Metcalf has been a monster this year. Seattle's offense has just been clicking on all cylinders, but they're not really great on third down. Meanwhile, you're facing the Arizona Cardinals, who happen to have one of the best third down defenses in the NFL, only allowing opposing teams to convert on third down 36% of the time, which is amongst the best in the NFL. So if Arizona can get Russell Wilson and Seattle off the field on third down and can get the ball back to their offense against a Seattle Seahawks defense that has kind of struggled so far up to this point in the season, you like their chances of winning this game. I think that's going to be really important. The battle of determining who's going to be able to convert on third down, Seattle's offense or is Arizona's defense going to prevail? And look, you got Russell Wilson. It's really hard to get Russell Wilson off the field on third down, which is why I'm really surprised that Seattle is 31st in the NFL in third down conversion percentage. Now, this is also a battle of a game that's going to feature two of the best teams in the red zone. When these two teams get inside the 20, they score touchdowns the majority of the time. You got Seattle who has the best red zone scoring offense in the NFL and Arizona who has the second best red zone scoring offense in the NFL. And the reason why I say red zone is going to be important in this game which red zone is important in every game but i think it's going to have a large effect in determining who wins this game because a field goal can be the deciding factor of who wins this game because while one team sells for a field goal the other team may go down to score a touchdown and that may be the difference in this game so i mean the red zone offense has been really good for both these two teams so one of these two defenses has to be able to make a stand inside the red zone and what makes these teams so difficult to stop in the red zone for Seattle, I mean, you got to worry about Russell Wilson, what he's able to do. You also got to worry about that big body freak of nature called DK Metcalf. And for the Arizona Cardinals, what makes them so difficult to defend is the fact that you got to worry about Kyler Murray and his ability to tuck in and run. You also have Cliff Kingsbury, who's really creative, which it really shows how good of a play caller you are when you're able to consistently score touchdowns inside the red zone because that's a really hard thing to do. I don't know if a lot of you guys know this, but in the red zone, it's really hard to score touchdowns because, first of all, the field is cut in half, basically. A lot of plays that you would call outside the red zone, you can't call anymore because you only have a few yards to work with. Also, it's hard to throw inside the red zone because everything is congested, and then it's also hard to run inside the red zone because a lot of teams start to go with heavy sets as closer as they get to the red zone or in the end zone, excuse me. So it's really 
impressed to see how efficient these two teams have been in the red zone when they get inside. So, I mean, for Arizona, the big thing for me when it comes to Arizona winning this game is going to be, can you keep Seattle from having those big chunk plays? That's really big for Seattle because Seattle's offense, when they get going, I mean, you got DK Metcalf, Tyler Lockett, they just have a lot of big explosive plays in the passing game. And for Arizona, you have to be able to contain that. I don't think Arizona has faced the offense this good for basically the whole entire season. And when you look at Seattle, I mean, you have to be able to force some turnovers in this game because I don't really trust Seattle's defense in this game with the way Seattle's defense has performed. Also, Jamal Adams, Quentin Dunbar are both listed as questionable. We don't really know if they're going to be able to participate in this game. Hopefully, one of those guys are going to be able to go. But I mean, if neither one of those guys were able to be fully healthy for this game, then I think it can be a long afternoon for Seattle's um, defense. So I was expecting this game to be a high scoring affair. Okay, like both these two teams are notorious for putting up a lot of points on each other. I don't really think we're going to see a lot of defense in this game. Now for Seattle, are they going to be able to take advantage of Arizona's offensive line? Okay, because Arizona's offensive line has improved, but it's still not all that great in my opinion. And for Arizona, are you going to be able to continue to rely on Kenyon Drake to produce for you in the run game? Because, I mean, the run game finally got going for Arizona last week. I mean, it somewhat got going against the New York Jets, but I mean... For the majority of the season, Kyler Murray has been carrying the weight of the running game of Arizona on his shoulders. So I want to see if Kenyon Drake's going to be able to step up and repeat that performance that he had against the Dallas Cowboys. Because Seattle's defense, although it's not great, it's a lot better than um, the Dallas Cowboys defense. So the team I'm going to take to win this game, I'm going to have to side with the Seattle Seahawks to get this one. The Seattle Seahawks are coming off of a bye. They're going to be well rested. And you got Arizona, who I think Arizona is a good team. I think they do have a chance of making it to the playoffs. But, I mean, for Arizona, um, I think that Seattle, at least, I know that Seattle's defense hasn't been great, which is why it's really weird that I'm taking Seattle to win this game. But I trust Russell Wilson. I believe that in this game, this game is going to be decided by who gets the ball in their hands last. And I think if Russell Wilson gets the ball in his hands last, he's going to be able to take Seattle down the field. He's going to be able to score. So I think that Arizona does have a really good chance of winning this game. I think that it's pretty much 50-50. And I say Seattle to win this game with not a lot of confidence because even though Seattle is coming off of a bye, like I'm still a little bit shaky off of their performance against Minnesota, which pretty much may be one of the worst performances of this year on the defense side of the football. But I mean, I think that Russell Wilson is going to be the deciding factor in this game. If Seattle can keep Kyler Murray inside of the pocket and force him to throw from inside of the pocket instead of just running outside the pocket where he's able to do a lot of damage at with his legs i think this game votes well in their favor so i'll take seattle to win 38 to 34 is my final score prediction in this game i think we're going to see a lot of points i think seattle comes on top because of russell wilson